Yeah, pre-bands locked in here. Vanessa and Tian Lang. We've got a Oliver first. Pick 33 speed lead getting locked in for Takuzo. I think that's definitely the route that he needs to take. He needs to make sure that he's got the best speed lead possible to go up against a player like Diligent. And I love that preparation with an Oliver getting drafted. Oh, yeah. And Takuzo is going to have to think a little outside the box here because he hasn't played up against a strategy that is so like Diligence yet. I mean, look at this. The wedge at the light ivor, the cigar, so much of this pressure. It, it, and he's he's definitely going to have to go about this a slightly different way. Yeah, he really is. But uh, this is also something where if Takuzo was watching those previous matches, this is something he should be very familiar with the, with diligent drafting. Like what worked really well going up against diligence draft right now, because we've already seen these four units hit the field. We have. Yeah, we've seen this is this is nothing new, right? We know that it's powerful, but it's nothing new. So Takazos has plenty of time to prep and frankly even rerun in between. Yep, we'll see. We've got that Nasha hitting the field here, and we've got Wateryu. Now, we knew about the Nasha, but I don't think we ever got to see this unit go through. It was banned every single time. Is that the case that we're gonna see a Nasha banned once again? Potentially. First Volantis of the day as well, by the way. Oh, Volantis coming from Diligent. You are right. Hey, gang. And Widget going to get the bands out. 33 speed lead out here for Takuzo. Let's go. Round one of the finals. Not getting the full team strip here. Volantis is able to keep his immunity still. Nice little stun going on top of that Narsha, though. Yeah, very, very nice way to lock that down and deprive it of that first turn. Now he's got a little bit of breathing room, so that way he doesn't have to panic. Think that a monster's on its way out. That oh, beautiful oh, provoke. That glancing. The provoke and the glancing on the Narsha is just a dream for Diligent. That's exactly what he needed. Yeah, big additional damage coming from that Juno. We know how much damage this unit's able to produce here. Very strong glancing, especially from that Violent proc. Not able to really do that much damage to this late Eivor. Yeah, no defense break, no crit, really abiding by the rules of the glancing there. And all of a sudden, Diligent is looking to be in a very strong position in this game. Very commanding position. Now, this skill three can go off at stun everybody. Keep in mind, the glancing is sitting on top of this counter. No additional turn is going to be coming out, except this additional turn there on Nasha. Nasha's not able to do much about that, though. And no defense break. You hate to see it. So she couldn't do much damage. A stun. He's doing a really good job navigating this Narsha because it really was that that pain point that could kind of just take the win out right from under Diligent if given ample yeah, opportunity. Kind of was able to get a stun out there, but that's definitely not going to be enough here. Diligent, very, very comfortable here. This light Eivor, Volantis, and probably Juno. I think Juno played a pretty big pat right now. She did. That Juno's skill one could have even gone into the Oliver there to just try to fish for a despair stun, but I don't think it's going to be one of those things that's going to like change the course of this game. It's over in favor of Diligent right now with one point on the board. The former world champion is one step closer still. He's one step closer to being the champ of this APAC Cup. That was a very comfortable first round victory there for, for Diligent. I don't think he had much to worry about. Um, we had a lot, uh, not, I don't want to say a lot of additional turns. It was two uh, Violent Procs coming out of the Narsha. And Narsha was like big volatility, volatile unit that could do a lot of damage and, and, and you know, change uh, the the way a match is going. But it was it was glanced, glancing work as intended and really kept the damage back from the Narsha. So, yeah, that's the key. It'll he, was the window, it, yeah, it'll he was looking for a window, man. It was looking for a glancing. window. He's not always... able to do anything. That's the part that surprises me. I mean, we're so used to seeing things like Verd double critting on water or Masha critting through a glance. But so when it when it happens, you're like, oh, I guess that technically makes sense. But it's you know, I wasn't expecting that. All right. So with the Yan Hong and the Wajet getting pre banned out here, we got a double speed lead coming out of Takso. And I, I do like the double speed lead. I do like that he's still showing he's willing to speed contest here, especially with the high speed uh, Laura already being drafted by Diligent. Not being dissuaded by a 120 base speed is uh, definitely, definitely a statement. The Nefties and the Light Ivor can't go wrong with that Light Ivor. I've been really impressed by that monster today. 
Yes, I too. This this has been a very wild unit. I would love one of these units to pair up with the Jackson. I think that would be sick if I were able to do that. Oh, you know, hey, that would be awesome. Into my account. That, would, that would be so <laughs> cool for you, actually. That would that would complement your comp so well. It would. It would. It'd be pretty neat. A lot better than uh than than, than a silly old ragdoll there, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I might be over oh, time, but uh, let's see where we go. <laughs> no, you're perfect, <laughs> you're perfect, bro. You're perfect. Don't. Judo's coming amazing. back to to diligence draft here. One more pick, and it is going to be a Vanessa. So he locks in double speed lead as well. I do like that they're both contesting speed leads. I love that 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 you know you know Takuzen, he was committed already with the double speed lead. Kind of fell off with the Shizuka in that uh, um, win battle angel. Yeah, he could try to go for a snipe here. No way, the dev's favorite monkey. Let's go, Shiho. What's one more hit between friends? Let's go. What's one more turn of invincibility, huh? Let's let him stun on skill three. Oh, I man. like that ban. I think the late Eivor had to go. Water Monkey King, too good, man. It was too good. He laid down that unit. It was very obvious it was going to get banned out there. 30, 33 speed leads for both players here, though. Holy Someone could get sniped. Oh, my gosh, it's a crit. Who'd he hit? Went for Nefty. Cool. Neftis and not able to drop that Neftis just yet. Keep in mind, there's not a lot of sustain, or there really isn't any sustain at all on the side of uh, Diligence. So we're going to see this drop. We do have Vanessa to help keep it alive, though. Oh, you know oh, what? I word. think he needed oh. to, to drop it before. Oh, that curse was beautiful. He did. True that. He definitely needed to drop it before it came out. Uh, but now, a proc is amazing. A proc is insane. And missing it is actually uh, pretty pretty fine too, I guess. And now Diligent is looking so strong. Yeah, Diligent uh -oh. is looking insanely strong uh, going up against Takas in here. There's just not much you could do about that. I think this says <laughs> a little bit about our, our players here because that first round, Diligent just overpowers his opponent here. Second round, yeah. it was a repeat a oh, different draft, but in absolute overpower once again in there. So I can't help but look at this third draft and say, like, Tyson's got to do something extra. You know what I mean? Both players confirmed to go to Thailand. I think this is where yeah, they are, they are going. goes out on a ledge here. You know what I mean? Yes. I tell you, I, you know, Takuzo's face was so, was so funny there. You know, he's like, yep, that makes sense. He's like, yep, I get it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, no the man has been casting diligent matches for so long. He knows what he's getting himself into here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Takuzo, remember, former caster, now player. He's he's so familiar with these. He knows the legacy of diligent. And heck, he's building his own legacy right now that he should be frankly super proud of. Definitely. Definitely be proud of it for sure. Uh, Yun Hong and the Nikki. Okay, I am very okay with this combination right here. I would love to see just something involving like a potential Cassandra, but there is a lot <laughs> of you know strips being brought to the table, whether it's the cigar, whether it's this Laura, and uh, he could even wrap up his draft with like a water Ryu. Um, but I, I would personally love to see like some nemesis thing that he's got brought. Um, I, I, I don't think that is what it takes i think diligence just proving to be a little bit too fast and uh uh too tightly tuned for our uh, uh takuzo right now right because we've seen him in the face of this sort of draft before and we know he outspeeds we know he takes early control um he could even take something like oh going for like a protection element kind of respecting respecting the carnal a little bit i think that's a it's a good safe pick Let's see if he can uh, get some key strips with the Laura on turn one here and then open it up for the Nefties. If that, that's going to be the thing. If he outspeeds, manages to get those checks, those activation checks post nerf, then we're good. Yan Hong's here to boost up the team. Yep, Yan Hong is going to be boosting up the team there. We're going to see a third skill going off with this Nikki. Let's see what kind of damage he's able to produce here. Uh, everything is under 2K, uh, under 3K, I'm sorry. It was like 2.2, 2.4, or something like that. Uh, so the damage Very was all right. All right, but it's very key that Takuzo uh, outsped. And it really is. Very we can see there. that third skill hit. 
upwards of 3.5, so a little bit bigger on the damage here. We're going to see a reset going towards the Oliver and drop... Oh, I'm sorry. Going on the Nikki, who's going to be the Cleanser, not getting that Provoke on the Oliver, though. Yeah, and here comes the stuns. This was the opportunity for Diligent to kind of take control back. He's got a minute to think. I mean, he's got shields up. Even Nefties isn't necessarily going to go away right now. That is quite interesting. Got to go right onto that Oliver now. Not going onto the Oliver again. He's he's really beelining that Yonhong wall. It's got the defense break on and a provoke, so it can't do anything. Oh, uh, you know what? It's it's all the the two turn immunities. He's not worried about that Oliver one bit because he's protected by that immunity so well. Exactly, exactly. He's he's got nothing to worry about. Like I said, even Nefty's, you know, Nefty's still around. She's not going anywhere. Even with the Sword of Gluttony, I think she's sticking. Yeah, gets another turn. If she really is. Was looking for that Silence, though, to put onto that Nikki. Doesn't perceive it here, but we're looking for a Sleeper additional turn. That's not going to happen. He's looking for a Provoke. Doesn't get the Provoke, so we are going to get a Cleanse out here. Nikki's going to help uh, Takuzo last just a little bit longer here in this match. Diligent trying to sneakily, thiefily take away this win from Takuzo. He's inching his way back up to the front. He really is. Can't take your eyes off this man for a minute. He'll just sneak in and take your win. Yeah, let's see if that silence is going to be landing true on top of that Nikki or potentially the Oliver. And it is the Oliver does not get that silence off. Not yet. Since there's since there's no debuffs on, he he'll he'll just land the attack break. He's missing he's missing that component. But I think it's I think it's okay. Just taking a little heat off of those those monsters oh, for now. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's that was nice. very nice. We're getting a third skill. Takuzo looking to, to clap back here. He's going to take down some units. Drops two of them. Third skill is definitely going to be enough to drop another unit there. Takes a match Ooh. from Diligent. Is not over yet for Takuzo. Taking back what is his. You know, it was looking like his game at the start, but he slowly started losing control to Diligent. But to take it back at the end game is really saying something. Well done. Yeah, he is not done yet. Yeah, very well done. Not done. Takuzo's got more to show us. More in the tank to dish out against Diligent. If anybody's got any secret weapons, now now would probably be the time to show them. I think the Neftis is a great pre-ban coming out of uh, Takuzo. I think that's the right thing. Yan Hong, no surprise there to see that get pre-banned here. Light Eivor, I think we're going to see more action. Uh, that's probably going to get in here. So keep in mind, of course, Widget, Laura, Light Eivor, all these units are available. Yeah, that was it was too much too much heat from the Nefties. You know, it's one of those units where it's like if it actually gets a successful skill two off, more often than not, it's gonna decide the game in that moment. So I like that as the pre-ban. I think it's really effective. Double 33s coming from Takuzo. That's we haven't seen somebody do that in a while. Yeah, he really wants that turn one very, very clear here. I kinda hope that these double thirty-threes don't result in like a Sekhmet. I kinda don't want to see Sekhmet hit the field right now. Nikki's gonna be hitting the field now. It's something to synergize with it. And I guess it's going to be a Shizuka. It's been a while since we've seen a Sekhmet throw a game. It's been a, it's been like an hour. I can <laughs> stand to see one more. See Sekhmet throw another game. I don't think this is where Diligent takes a Sekhmet. I don't think any. Oh, I love that. Whoa. Man. See, Stop. this is no where way. I want to hear he prepared something else. You know what I mean? And in, in uh, 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 is it Tyrone? Get right the heck Tyrone? out of here, man. Yeah, Tyrone in the finals at match point. Get the heck out of here, bro. I love to I see I want to see this. a Tyrone lock it in. You know what I mean? Like, Bring me down such a wild head, unit. A like... little bit of a smile on Takuzo's face as well. Right, that is so awesome. Let's see it. Let's see it pop up. I would love to see it like get a turn, but that's could be hard to be honest. Well, let's see what Laura's got to say about it, because Laura, you know, it's not supposed to be consistent. Does not get that Shizuka though. Ooh. Oh, the two turn slows, dude. Ooh. That's actually wild. I think he's got to go full right into this Nikki. You do. You do. Wow, big damage. Huge damage coming from the Tian Lang, actually. All things in nature. All freezes. Right back at you, she says. No Ooh, way. Oh, the cleanse as no well. No way. Oh. That was so important that he got that cleanse. Super awkward turn from the Laura. I tell you, that was... Trying to clap back here. This is crazy. And this was, like, notably not the Tyrone's fault. 
if if it goes wrong from here, not the Tyrone's fault, right? It's the Laura's fault. She didn't strip the shit. Yeah. It, and this is exactly why, like, the nerf can be very, very scary, because that strip's supposed to be less consistent here. 40% after skill-ups. It's pretty low. This this is looking quite interesting right now, Evan. I mean, uh, Diligent needs to... Oh, that's not what Diligent wants to see. Nope. That is not. It is. It is closer than it seems. You're right about it, that. It is. It really is closer than it seems right now. First skill is going to be killing the Laura. Second skill is going to be defense breaking. Or not. I'm sorry. The second skill is Over committing on that a little bit. I think he didn't trust the attack break. But, um, you know, better safe than sorry, right? So... Yep. There it is. Beautiful second skill. Drops that Vanessa. Second skill is going back onto Nikki. Nikki with skills up. Can do skill two to heal up the team. That's what is going to be happening here. No additional turn into the third skill. Second skill is going to be primed and ready for resetting here. No despair oh. stun is going to hit the field. No Diligent defense break is going to hit the field. He's Diligent's got a kill. He needs pretty, a kill. Pretty good. A proc here is devastating. A proc here wins in the game, potentially. Oh, ho, ho, no such luck. Defense skill break online. going out onto the Shizuka. You got no. Work on the looking Shizuka, for a man. defense break. I know oh, Shizuka yeah, is the scary it. unit. Oh dear. Okay. Is that? Is it going to be enough? Because he's got third skill it's here. Enough. Yeah, that's enough. You had to work on the Shizuka because she brings back the Nikki. Wow. Skill three team wipe, and now all of a sudden we're at the fifth round. Fifth round coming right at you. We. I Bakuzo. didn't think we would get to this point. Bakuzo's giving us a show right now. Whether it's a caster or a player, he's giving us a show. He's putting on something entertaining for us. I I love the reverse. The reverse is so incredible to see. Everybody thought 3-0. Diligent. Takuzo coming back. This is incredible. Denying Stoic his bedtime. Absolutely denied. <laughs> oh, you be man. in bed by 6 a.m.? You fool. <laughs> That's what Takuzo says. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for realsies, though. What a great oh, showing. God. So, of course, you pick it the really you pick is. the Shizuka after that. Of course, you bring those units. I think Diligent, Diligent was kind of having some fun. Again, would have been a completely different game if Laura actually landed the strip on that Shizuka. Would have been completely different because then Tyrone freezes the whole shebang. And, like, he just parties with the two-turn slow skill. Two comes around, wipe everybody's attack bar. Completely different. Of course, it's not what happened. But uh, Laura's fault is all I'm trying to say. I, I can't tell what I want to see. I almost want to see an all of a ban with a Feng Yen draft from Diligent. But I do think if he drops in a Feng Yen now, Feng Yen's banned. But I think that's kind of what Diligent wants to see. Diligent needs to drop something in where the fifth pick is banned and he gets that dream team through right there. Did you say a Feng with a ban on that all of them. Yeah, I think Feng Yen is the so answer. Sick. You get a nice defense buff uh, from Laura. Dude, I love that. I love that idea. Actually, that's such a cool. That's such a cool pick. Unfortunately, that's not what we got. I think Chung Pong's okay, but I do like the solo potential from the Fang. Yeah, there we go. Probably Hagen's gonna get the ban. Thirty-three speed lead. So that's not a turn one. Takuzo with a thirty-three though. Not necessarily, but this is the last game of the night, no matter what. We are on our fifth round of the finals. Both these players are going to Thailand, but only one of them is walking away with the champion title for the APAC Cup wow. and $10,000. That was it right Ooh. there. I was going to say, like, how consistent is Laura? How bad is the nerf? Laura got full strips into serious matter, full resets, ton of additional damage, bringing all units almost down to 50%. Provokes are going to be hitting this field, and we got to make sure that this Shizuka doesn't take a turn because that's what it's coming yeah, down she's, to. Does Shizuka get a turn? And she does have skills. I didn't. She didn't get reset. I don't think she uh, got increased cooldown time. Got a Provoker. Yeah, she's got all skills. Oh wow! Yep, right there. Wow, that was close. So reactive to that. Yeah, you saw that. That was really close there. Oh, bummer and the that sleep, it didn't get and the attack the dish. The Adish. Wow. Stuns and slows going out onto the field. Takuzu knows that this this is the end right here, but he made such an excellent push to go into a game five right there. All the additional damage, wrapping it up there, getting those two kills there. Well done, Diligent.
Like, that's well the done, aggressive man. diligent that we know, man. Well done, diligent is our APAC champion. Congratulations to diligent.